Okay, let's unpack this. It's a question that you know just keeps popping up huh. in comments and conversations about sustainable tech, cryptocurrency. It really does. There's a lot of curiosity there. Right. You see the headlines, maybe about Bitcoin's energy use. You hear the buzz about renewables. But then there's this core question. Can off-grid, daytime-only Bitcoin mining actually be profitable? Yeah. And, like, what does it really take to make it work? Especially. Well, especially at scale. Exactly. So that's our mission for today's deep dive. We're going to peel back the layers, get into the... Uh, the real nuts and bolts of it all. And what's really fascinating here, I think, is how it's driven by practical experimentation, you know, real world hands on trials. That's what's pushing innovation in this, well, maybe unexpected sector. Yeah, not just theory. Not just theory, no. We're starting with a concrete real world foundation, yeah. a pilot test. It involved just 10 mining rigs, a solar setup down in South Texas, lots of sun there. Right, good place for it. And from that, from that tangible success, we're going to explore the ambitious leap. What does it mean to scale that concept up? Think a full-blown industrial-sized one megawatt farm. Wow, okay. It's quite a journey from, you know, a few humming machines to what you could genuinely call a digital powerhouse. Okay, and here's where it gets really interesting, for me anyway, because we're going to pull back the curtain, not just on the numbers, but the nitty-gritty of the tech. Hmm. So our roadmap for this deep dives, it's pretty packed. First, we'll zero in on the specific hardware, the components, and also the uh, the clever automation systems. Those are absolutely essential for a true off-grid operation. Can't do it without it. Absolutely critical. Then we'll meticulously break down the inverter deployment strategy for a one megawatt DC system. Because, you know, converting that raw solar power into something the miners can use, 